Hey YouTube, today we're going to have a quick look at my iMac G3. Now, to start with, I'm actually using an external monitor on the VGA connector at the back because we really don't want to be looking at all that flicker. So everything you see on this screen now is actually mirrored from the G3 itself. And what we're going to do is we're going to install Mac OS X 10 point three which is panther um, it's currently running 10.4 which is tiger but to be honest it's a little bit sluggish and i think the operating system might be too much for the imac itself even though it is completely maxed out with ram and it has got a 7200 rpm hard drive in there now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to reboot and boot off the CD. So if you just bear with me a second. I'll pop the CD in. Okay, so we're gonna reboot holding down the option key. Just wait for the CD drive to spin up and find the disk. I think this is going to be a very slow process because this iMac does only have a CD ROM drive. I think it writes CDs as well, but it's not even as elegant as having a DVD drive. So I'm just going to wait for the little watch icon to disappear before we can click on it. I think it's just having a quick look at the disk, make sure everything's okay on it. making some strange noises the only use I've got for this machine really is just a small file downloader and just an internet browser it doesn't do anything majorly exciting um, I picked it up from eBay probably about a year ago for about £10 and I spent about £20 on RAM £12 on a 120 gig hard drive, just completely maxed it out and uh, it's connected to the internet through an ethernet cable to my airport express which is then connected to my main router uh, via Wi-Fi. Welcome to the wonderful world of slow. I think this is a 2001, possibly 2002 model. So we are talking 12 years old-ish. So we're not going to expect anything dramatically speedy. Lots of patience is required with this one. Hopefully once it's installed, not as much patience as I've had to use in the past because it takes ages to load up web pages. Right, let's use English, continue. 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 Yes, I agree. Blah blah blah. All right. 
we want to install it on that drive but it's come up with an exclamation mark mm -hmm. so what can we do open disk utility So we're going to erase this disk. Mac OS Extended Journal. Erase. There wasn't anything specifically exciting on there, so there's no loss. And if this version of OS X isn't up to scratch, then I can always put Tiger back on at a later date. Have we done? Continue. Right, we don't want to check the disk, so we'll skip that. Okay, let's restart this beast. Now it wants this too. Up till this moment in time, the earliest version of Mac OS X I've ever installed is Tiger. And I've never seen it reboot between this. So this is new to me. Normally it does it all in one go and then reboots. existing internet service not got ethernet yes nope because it doesn't exist
Hmm, strange. Said it was installing Internet Explorer, but Safari's still there. Let's try Safari. Probably need to install Flash, I guess. That's a lot more responsive than it was with Tiger anyway. Sometimes you had to wait a good 10-15 seconds for pages to load. So there we go. That is one iMac G3 running at 600 megahertz with a gig of RAM, 120 gig hard drive, and it is now running OS X 10.3 Panther instead of Tiger. And I think I've achieved what I planned to do, and that was make it a little bit more faster and responsive. So thanks very much for watching and hopefully I'll catch you again soon in another video. Bye bye.